So we just looked at creating dummy variables uh, in Stat Pro. We're now going to use those dummy variables as well as the rest of the data in this data set to run a multiple regression. Uh, now again, we're looking at bank salaries here or the bank.xls file. This is in chapter 11 of your textbook. Uh, we also talked about this in lecture or session 6 in your Opman 5751 course. Uh, so we, what we're going to do, we, what we want to do, we want to do a multiple regression, okay, and we want to predict the salaries uh, based on all of the other variables. So I'm going to go in stat pro, regression, and multiple. Okay, and uh, all my data has been highlighted, click OK, that's perfect. And I want to predict the salary, so that is my dependent variable. Notice for dependent, you can only choose one. Uh, click OK. Now, independent, you can choose all the variables you want, but you have to be careful. Employee, we're not going to choose, that's just their employee number. And education level and job grade, we're also not going to choose because we have made dummy variables for those. So very important, if there are dummy variables associated with that variable, uh, do not include those original variables, whatever you do. So we're going to start with years experience and age and years um, and then uh, in terms of the education levels uh, you can choose whichever ones you'd like out of these except for one. So I'm going to choose everything but the first one. Okay, control click uh, if you want to just highlight some of the variables here. So control click to grab the ones you want. A little bit tedious here, but that's okay. And same with job grade, so I'm going to exclude the first one. Again, you can exclude any one you want, but you have to exclude one of them. And now we're going to choose gender female instead of male, and then PC job yes instead of no. So these are both dummy variables as well. Uh, so you only select one of the two. You always exclude one of the categories. Click OK. OK, and one three and five are the outputs we want. Click OK. And let's put it on a new worksheet. That would get messy for this one. Oh. Ah, there we go. Sorry. You guys don't have to worry about that error. Click OK. And there we go. There is our output. Everything we needed here. Okay, and in the session six, we talk about what all these coefficients mean as well. So make sure you can explain the meanings of these coefficients, actually starting from years experience down, um, on a test. Uh, they are slopes, but they're slightly different. Um, so again, refer to session six to figure out what these guys mean. Just a couple notes here, looking up. Our adjusted R squared is what we look at for a regression. So in this case, this is not bad but not great either. 0.75 roughly, it's not that strong. It's not that horrible, but it's not very strong. Our p-value here is really good, and looking down, some of these p-values are bad. Some of them, though, are actually okay with dummy variables. We'll talk about that in sessions to come.